What's up guys, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to go over some simple tips that will help increase your iPhone's lock screen security. Although we use Touch ID because it's super convenient, you're still required to have a passcode as a precaution in case the Touch ID reader isn't working or your hands are too sweaty to read. So let's go ahead and beef up the 4 digit passcode and make it a 6 digit one, which is a new feature on iOS 9. Just head into your settings, you're going to go to Touch ID and Passcode, enter your passcode, then go to Change Passcode, and enter your passcode once more. Now if you do have iOS 9, you're automatically given the option to change it to a 6 digit passcode, which is a little bit more difficult to crack than a 4 digit passcode. If you're not running iOS 9, you can still tap Passcode Options and choose a custom alpha numeric code, which is even more difficult to crack than a six digit passcode, so it works out. Now with the alphanumeric one, you can use special characters, numbers, make it as long as you want in length. It can be pretty difficult to crack depending on what you create with it. So definitely try this one out. For the next tip, we're gonna adjust the allow access when lock preference. One reason you wanna do this is in the past, Siri was exploited from the lock screen. So to prevent her from being accessed on the lock screen, you would adjust this preference labeled allow access when locked. Now in, addi in addition to Siri, you can also remove your wallet so people can't see any of your credit card information. I also like to disable reply with message in case someone finds my device, they can't reply to a message. Though some people do like this because in case someone pretty nice finds their phone, they can reply to a text message of you looking for it or texting your own phone from your friends. But I do turn this off and I turn off wallet. And if you turn off Siri, you also turn off voice dial so no one can dial from your lock screen. You can also remove today and notification view so no one can pull down and check your notifications. So as you saw, we were able to disable the notification center on the lock screen, but if someone finds my iPhone and wants some time to mess with it and try to crack it, they can pull up the control center and toggle on airplane mode, meaning that my phone's off the grid, meaning that I can't wipe it with find my iPhone or track it down with find my iPhone. So in order to disable this, you're just gonna go into your settings and then you're gonna go to control center and disable access on lock screen. So now if they do wanna try to use my iPhone, they'll have to power it on and that'll give me time to track it with find my iPhone. For the next tip, we're gonna make your iPhone lock itself sooner and quicker automatically. So if you've ever noticed, if you don't use your device for a short period of time, it'll automatically dim the display. You can adjust this by adjusting the auto lock feature under general, and you go to auto lock. Now, I use 30 seconds, because that's a smaller window of opportunity for anyone who finds my device. So I set it to 30 seconds. Now, if you want it to lock itself right when the screen dims, you're gonna go back to touch ID and passcode. Now, just be aware that this only works if you have iPhone unlock disabled for use touch ID. Otherwise, you can't adjust the required passcode to anything else other than immediately. But if you're only using your passcode, you can adjust to one minute, five minutes, or whatever you want. But as it states right here, shorter times are more secure. So I tend to put immediately. But again, if you have touch ID enabled, it's automatically on immediately. But you should still check out the auto lock feature so that after not using your device for 30 seconds, it will lock itself. For this last tip, this is more for your privacy. We're going to adjust the notification content for particular applications like your messages or emails. Now we're just going to go to the notification preferences within your settings. Now let's say you have some messages or emails or other sensitive content within other applications you want to restrict or limit. You just go to messages or let's say emails if you chose that one. Now from here you can disable show on lock screen or you can actually go to disable show previews. But if you disable show previews, this will also disable the previews when the device is unlocked. But if you have this toggled on on your lock screen, people will be able to see your incoming messages and read some of them. So I tend to turn that off and I also just turn off show on lock screen just to be extra safe. So definitely take advantage of some of these tips. They will make your lock screen that much more secure if you're not using them already. For more information, check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful GadgetHack videos. Thanks, guys.